Star Report. I'm your host, Star. Welcome to the show. Folks, it is Wednesday evening, and I'm here to talk about Diddy, a.k.a. Puffy, a.k.a. P. Diddy, okay? Sean Combs has stepped down as Revolt Chairman, you know? Uh, that was fast. <laughs> huh? Lawsuits start flying. He settles, thinking it's still going to be all good, and then Revolt uh, sends out... Uh, uh, an Instagram post and an official statement, according to the Los Angeles Times uh, statement yesterday, says Mr. Pardon me, while Mr. Combs has previously had no operational or day to day role in the business, this decision helps ensure that Revolt remains steadfastly focused on our mission to create meaningful content for the culture and amplify the voices of all black people throughout this country and the African diaspora. They also said on Instagram, hang on a second. Our focus has always been one that reflects our commitment to the collective journey of revolt. One that is not driven by an individual, but by the shared efforts and values of our entire team on behalf of advancing, elevating, and championing our culture. And that continues, okay? So revolt has separated themselves, but it's not too late for them to get sued, okay? Okay. Um, folks, I don't watch Revolt TV. I, I, I always thought it was trash. I'm going to keep it real with you. <laughs> the Revolt Summit. <laughs> what did that ever do? Who did that ever help? I, I always thought that that was just a complete uh, money grab. Anyway, um, Diddy created Revolt along with, um, I forget the guy's name, back in 2013. I don't know what his uh, percentage of ownership was and or is. But uh, they say he, he doesn't, at this point in time, have anything to do with day-to-day -day activity, okay? So he has stepped down. I, I think he's been tossed like a Caesar salad. I mean, that's my guy, but hey, you know, <laughs> I'm going to do what I do. And um, I think he has been removed, and uh, they gave him a way to, to you know, to, to take the, the respectful way out. Oh, it's, it's just temporary. Now nah, you're out of here, Mr. Combs. We don't care where you go, but we want you to pack your shit and hit the road, okay? That's my main um, story this evening. Also, Diddy's former security guard. I've seen uh, conflicting stories saying this guy, Roger Bonds, was head of security. Uh, if you ask me, he's a goofy. I, I don't know if I've ever met him. I'm, I'm going to try not to make this personal, but you have to understand I'm a journalist and I've broken many stories over the decades and whenever these people start speaking up after they get named in a lawsuit as this guy did you know i don't necessarily find them to be credible um he has released a statement and uh based upon my research has now deleted his entire instagram uh channel page his entire Insta instagram page pardon me but right after Cassie named him in her lawsuit, which has now been settled, this guy, uh, Roger Bonds, is talking about he's got daughters, he's got diabetes, and he was just sick of, he didn't name Diddy in, in that, you know, IG uh, post, which has gone viral. Didn't name him by name, but just, you know, I was sick of you. I'm calling Cap, as you guys say. I'm going to use your word. Cap! I think this nigga, this goofy nigga, it's part of the problem. He, he himself said it wasn't just Cassie. It was other people. Okay, okay, goofy nigga, tell us. Tell us who else. Who else you witnessed being uh, allegedly abused by the man who, who you claimed that you respected him uh, on Vlad TV. I'm not sure of the exact uh, uh, time that he did an interview on, on Vlad TV. Uh, Roger Bonds, who sided with Cassie on how he became Diddy's security. So, so, so this, this guy was a driver. And, you know, he, he more than likely is somebody that did, he, you know, th threw a bone to call in if you uh, have any intel on this, uh, this guy. I'm, I'm going to try not to call him names, but I just, I don't like people like him. I really don't. And all this, you know, bodyguard, security guard thing. Does he have any bodyguard training? Or is this just a street nigga? You know, nah, nah, I held him down. You know, I told him to get behind me. Or, or let me throw this at you guys before I open up the floodgates. Or is Diddy the gangster that we <laughs> most of us think he is? And this guy uh, was just pussy. Troll babies, good evening. Is Roger Bond's pussy? 
was Diddy too much of a gangster for him? And at what point did he leave, uh, uh, you know, employment? <laughs> Working. Working with Diddy, the gangster who, who, who has been whacking people over the head with bottles. Pow! Hmm? Is this nigga just pussy now running for cover? Okay. Wednesday evening. Um, and coming up a little bit later, <clears throat> I, wanna, I want your advice. I want your advice. I, I'm one hour in on watching Taylor Swift's um, movie, The Eras Tour. <laughs> it's three hours in change. Hang on a second. Uh, she produced it. Uh, it was released October the 13th. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Distributed by AMC Theaters. I watched it on, well, I'm watching it, pardon me. I have not finished on the free movie website that I watch everything on. I'm an hour in. I don't want to give you my thoughts and opinions just yet, but if anybody has seen this and you want to call in, Taylor Swift's uh, new movie, The Eras Tour. Call in. I want us to have a conversation, and I want to get your uh, your thoughts and opinions. Your thoughts and opinions. And in case you don't know, I live in Stone Harbor, New Jersey. Taylor uh, Swift spent summers here for like maybe a decade. She's from Pennsylvania originally, but uh, you know I've never seen her. I don't. I don't. Well, maybe I have, and I just I never noticed it. some little young, uh, uh, thin white girl on the beach, but uh, I, I don't know her person, okay? But um, yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit later, okay? All right, so uh, showrunner Diddy's former security, Roger Bonds. I say he's part of the problem, huh? He was named in the lawsuit by Cassie as the guy who witnessed Diddy stomping her ears together. He, he intervened, so... He says, guys, did Cassie say in the, her, her uh, complaint that this guy intervened? And, and where is he from? Anybody got intel on this nigga? Is he, is, is he a, a tax evader? Does he pay child support? Claiming he got four daughters. Does the, the mother of one of those beautiful girls want to call in, tell us about this nigga? I'm trying not to make it personal, but I just, I don't like niggas like that, okay? All right, and also, you guys can tap in if you like the Bayou Barbie is returning. Angel Reese, after four games, uh, being suspended for four games, she's returning, okay? Returning to, to the team, pardon me, LSU. Did she have her alleged abortion? And, and now she's back. <laughs> I don't know if she was pregnant, that was, that was just, you know, Somebody uh, sent in a super chat, and, and we've, been, we've been running with that. I have no knowledge if she was uh, uh, pregnant, okay? All right, that's my story this evening. I also pulled some notes here on Bad Boy Records because at first I wanted to do a show, Diddy, the rise and fall. This is not necessarily the fall, but this is the nigga wake-up call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the nigga wake-up call. I've printed out uh, many groups from Bad Boy. Hold on a second. If you guys want to call in with the bullshit, feel free to. Hold on a second. I, what is that list? I printed out so many Bad Boy groups over the years. All, all the, the tragedies. <laughs> niggas dying. Niggas going to jail. Uh, salute to my nigga Craig Mack. I met Craig Mack a few times back in the days. I liked him. Uh, Notorious B.I.G., of course, Faith Evans, Total 112, Mace, uh, Mario Winans, The Locks, Black Rob, uh, Carl Thomas, Shine, Mark Curry, uh, Dream, Loon, DeBand, Fuzz Bubble. Who is that? Eight, oh, my niggas, 8 Bowl and MJG. Uh, new Edition. Gorilla Zoe, uh, D -D -D Day 26, and a host of others, okay? All right, um, Xavier, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in, sir. Diddy running around with the Joker and it costume uh, for the FOs. Have you seen 50 Cent? Yeah, yeah, listen, 50's my guy, but I don't follow 50 on Instagram. He, he does too much trolling for me. Nothing against him, good guy. <laughs> ne never cut me a check, but, you know, I just he does too much on a... 
Instagram. But but yes, I'm up to speed. Uh, Godson, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Peace, star Roger Bonds ain't no sucker. He bout that life. He just broke right now. What's right? He's a bum nigga then. If you say he's not a sucker, he's a bum nigga. Okay, and, 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 and let, me, let me take it a step further since you say he bout that life. I want to see the nigga sued by other people. The fact that he's just now speaking up bothers me. If you got four beautiful daughters and you got diabetes, yo, I was just, I was sick, claiming he was sick of Diddy, but didn't uh, mention Diddy by name. What, what really made this uh, real nigga, as you say, uh, leave employment? Or was he pussy? D Diddy might have said, hey, yo, hey, play, hey, playboy, yo, you just, what's with you, man? You know, we, we out here moving, shaking and popping, you know, getting at niggas, and you keep calling us sick. You're fired, okay? Maybe what happened, okay? All right, um, RC from the 315, got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. And CVR, are you okay? Hang on a second, guys. CVR, email me. What's going on, man? I got an email, guys, from CVR who calls into the show. Says he got beat up down there in um, uh, uh, Jacksonville streaming live in front of a church. <laughs> Florida boy Jake. <laughs> oh, Florida boy Jerry out there, my nigga. Can you check on CVR? Florida boy Jerry, I sent you his email address. Just check on the nigga, please. Oh, this, this is my nigga right here. Sir Shy, thank you for your support as always, and thank you for tapping in. Sir Shy, where do you want to go? What's popping? What's going, what's going on, Hip Hop Highlander? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where do you want to start, man? Diddy, uh, Roger oh, Bonds. I'm happy. Come on. Oh, I'm happy to I'm happy to buy you Barbie's back, man. You know, LSU, let's let's get it. Let's go back to back. Mm -hmm. um, she probably had to get that quick uh, in and out, but <laughs> she's she back. You know, probably got her grades up and. Uh, We'll see her this week. I think I believe she's they're playing L.A. Tech. I don't know. I think they're playing L.A. I Tech. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm just glad the whole situation is. Uh, she needs to get back focused on her craft. But yeah, man, back on. Well, this. hang on a second, Sir Shy, because I I respect your your opinions. You're a knowledgeable man. Right, w right. Weren't they winning without her? LSU. Weren't they winning without Angel? Oh, they're. A, yeah, they're a deep team. I mean. They're, you know, especially after the, their freshman class is strong. Um, Angel is a junior now. I mean, they pretty much have the same roster and even got even more be better. Yeah. I mean, they still have to, you know, uh, like, you know, you still got uh, Clark up there in um, in Iowa. But outside of that, you, you know, the LSU's, um, uh, the USC, USC is really good this year. They've always had um, a strong women's program since Cheryl Miller. Reggie, no. So why are we ha well, why are you happy Angel Reese is coming back? The team has been winning and and the coach, let's put some respect on the coach's name, Kim uh, Mulkey. Yeah, she's good. She, well, 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 hang on. She mm -hmm. has she has not been kicking Angel's back in. She just said, Well, you know, she'll be back. We're a team, yada, yada, yada. She did not say what I saw in the press recently. Some somebody, some I forget who it was, said that she needed needed an attitude adjustment. Any knowledge on that? So Star, you know what happened. The the money people, the boosters, the 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 donors, they kind of called Kim downstairs and said, "Listen, she brings in a lot of money. You know, feminism. You you know, we want to support these young girls. So, Kim, can you just do us a favor and not kick her back in?" And Kim, she was a good. She's she's being a good soldier. She's kind of like letting it go. Okay. Uh, another in another era, probably not. But you already know that's that that's money in politics. Star. Okay. 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 But uh, on Diddy, man. Diddy. Um, Diddy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hey, my man G Bill was like on the latest Art of Dialogue episode was like this dude Diddy enjoys BBCs. I was like, oh no. <laughs> now, hang on a second, Sir Shy. Let, let, let me just say, let, let me just say this. You know, this uh -huh. is the objective perspective. I, I don't really know. You're Gene. right. I don't know Gene like that. However, Gene already put it out there that you know I used to go up to Sue's Rendezvous by myself. Now I'm stupid. I'm no tough guy. Uh -huh. but I used to go up there, saucy. You know, f four magazines, and I have a permit to carry, so he would let me in. However, uh -huh. however. I've always found Big Gene to be an honorable man. He started working with Diddy somewhere around the early 90s, 
And then Gene left. 94. Okay, well, I don't know the exact year. And then Gene left because of, uh -huh. the, because of the fuckery. He left, and then Diddy came back to him. That This is fact. You guys can check the timeline. S said he would do better, right. yada, yada, yada. And then Gene left again in late 2004. So, so Gene, throughout his time with bad boy Diddy and the whole camp, he was trying to help people internally, uh -huh. internally. This guy, I don't know nothing about this guy. I know that he was a driver, and I don't, I don't like the fact that he's only now speaking up. Diddy, pardon me, Cassie outed this nigga. Tell me about Cassie. Roger Bonds, please. Well, he, I, well, if the Matt, if the chronological timeline's right, I think when Gene left the first time, I think that's when Roger Bonds stepped in, and he quickly elevated to uh, head of security. You know. He was a lot more quieter. Let's just say he was more agreeable and looked the other way. He was a driver, Sir Shot, Sir Shot, Sir Shot. This guy did not step in and fill Gene's uh, shoes. Gene was security. This guy was a driver. Let's no, be, I know. Let's uh -huh. be precise. He was a fucking driver. Something at, at the best of both worlds. Concert. He acted, like, he acted like he was protecting mm -hmm. niggas. He's a fucking driver. But think Come about on. it this way. But think about it this way, Star. Like, Diddy, you know, you know, Gene challenged Diddy over the years when it came to big and the security, yes. when it came to 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 shine everything. This guy Roger, just reading some of the notes, he looked the other way. I mean, again, when you're the driver, bingo, you see who's coming in the car and coming out the car. So he quickly gained Diddy's trust. We can agree on that. Um, I, I think Diddy may have found himself another uh, foot soldier, <laughs> a foot soldier, whereas with Gene, I was told that Gene told Diddy to his face, I see the horns, yeah. I see the horns coming out of your head. You're a demon. Yep, yep. You're a demon. You're right. <laughs> and that's why he left the first but, time. Come on. And the worst part, I, I remember he said something similar to that when uh, Big died. And uh, Diddy, and they at the hospital, Diddy say, Gene, Gene, let's pray. And Gene said, pray for what? The nigga already dead. And he says, yeah, I, I met Gene Dill. I mean, I saw Gene Dill when he used to. Uh, sir, sir Shot, I don't mean to cut you short. Listen, listen. I want to focus on Roger right. <laughs> Bonds. Who is that nigga? Roger I, Bonds. I don't believe his gangster. <laughs> I don't believe his gangster. Come I don't believe. I, I think he's just another. I think he's just another Artie the Rat. I just think he wants his 15 minutes of fame to clear the air. Ooh. He already deleted his original message Ooh. on social media, but we yeah. well, we have it saved. And uh, I just don't trust the guy. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to say, man. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles will beat the 49ers. So if anybody got a problem with me, put the money on the table. Thank Let's you, go man. Eagles. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sure. Yeah. All right. Peace. Peace. Folks, I don't believe this nigga's gangster. This nigga got diabetes. <laughs> I, got four, I got daughters. Okay, well, at what point did he leave employment for the gangster? Did he? Did he's a fucking gangster? That's a whole fact. I, I got other stories that I'm not going to say on the mic here. This looks like a little nigga. Sitting up on Vlad TV. Is this a Harlem nigga? Where is he from? I don't play with Harlem niggas. I don't play with Harlem niggas. And, and, and let me, I don't mean to, you know, say nothing crazy, but uh, Roger Bonds, don't contact me. I don't want to interview you. I want to get some intel on you. And if you're dirty, I'm, I'll be on the phone with the goddamn police. You, you can count on that. Okay. Um, Troll Patrol, I got your donation. Thank you. Roselle, New Jersey is in the building. Thank you, man. Salute to Roselle. Oh, they had great football teams back in the late 70s. I know that's going back too far, but I just I had to say that, Roselle. Uh, Craig, I got your donation. King and his big brother, T.I., hosting an event at Club 11. <laughs> Yo, salute to Janet. Jan Janet is the one who said T.I. and Tiny are King's siblings, not his parents. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Spirit, smooth tunes. Good to hear from you, man. Thank you for your support. 
<laughs> Spirit, is your wrench working? You should have a wrench in that live chat. If not, email me. You, sh- you should be able to promote your, your platform. I-, I know my alleged daughter, sometimes she takes wrenches away. But if there's an issue, contact me. Food, peace, and self-care. Got your donation. Uh, Sir Shy is on the phone with you. Uh, whack 100 style. Hashtag per. Well, he's Spence Skrilla, man. I mean, I, I, I want people to talk. I don't want to be the only guy who's only got an opinion, right? Um, Travis got your donation. Travis, go fuck yourself. We don't do dollar donations. Get your bum ass out of here. Fuck wrong with you. Uh, let's bring in area code. 203, good evening. We're talking about Diddy stepping down from Revolt. It's shine time. It's my nigga, but it's shine time. Are you there? Two, zero. Star, oh, what's good? Yes, sir. How are you? Let's crack him. Doing good. Doing good. Thank you. So, um, I'm wondering. Sir, you're on a Puerto Rican headset. Can you make the adjustments? You can't, you can't screw up my show like that. What Got you. you. Come on. Give me a second. Oh, got me. Uh, any better now? No, sir. It sounds like pure shit. You want to call back? You can't screw up my show, sir. I will call. I can call back. All okay, right. call back. He's he's cutting up work or doing something. He's on that jiggy shit. Flip eighty two. I got you. Donation. Hold on a second. Let me let me make my screen a little bit bigger. I am so loving the holidays, folks. Flip82 says Diddy's bodyguard is a liar and a nigger. He didn't try, he didn't try to intervene. He turned his head like you did when, when your boy Flacco beat his girlfriend half to death. Oh! <laughs> That's a whole fact. But, but you see, I, I was trying to cut up the coke in the living room. I'm in somebody else's apartment. Yeah, Flacco went to work, and uh, for those who don't know what he's talking about, uh, when I was I was in high school, George Washington High School, class of '82. My, my, my he was my friend, <laughs> Flacco. Flacco, oh my goodness, giving his girl uh, uh, Tyson blows, and I just <laughs> I turned my head and pretended it was none of my goddamn business. Area code nine zero eight, are you there? Good evening, nine zero eight. Diddy has stepped down from Revolt. Are you there? Do you care? Yeah, and you. I don't care because he's about to take off and go catch up with Russell Simmons in Indonesia. Mm. Let's go. Yeah, he's about to take flight. He's about to take flight, man. Let's go. Let's Too go. much coming down. Right. Yo, you better worry about Keefe D. What you think about that Keefe D thing, All Star? I think Keefe D's a broke nigger. And he put himself in the yeah, he, yeah. He, he put himself in that position because he saw, he signed a proffer agreement like myself. Clearly, the dumb nigger didn't read it, and the dumb nigger didn't understand that that if you break the proffer agreement, they can arrest your dumb ass. So so he's a dumb goofy. right right. Keefe D's a dumb goofy. But now now that uh, uh, it's shine time for Diddy, you know they they and and and, and there's blood in the water and the sharks are circling. We might see Diddy in handcuffs. Yes, sir. We might see Diddy in handcuffs. Yes, I don't wish that on him. That's my guy. Yeah, well, listen. That's my guy, but you know. Hey, listen. I think he, I think he about to catch flight, man. I think he out of here. <laughs> come on. Come I on. think he out of here. Watch the airports. Watch all the private airports, y'all. <laughs> Are you hating? Are you, just say you're hating. If you're hating, say I'm, I'm hating. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Not a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> where are you calling from, sir? Uh, where is that? Okay, 908. Uh, Roselle, New Jersey. Oh, Roselle. Roselle, New Jersey, sir. Salute, 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 salute. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Born and raised? Union County Bredwin, sir. Born and raised? Born and raised. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, sir. Haven't been there. Well, I'm, I've dro- I've driven through Roselle, but I haven't spent time there since the early 80s. I think you heard me talk about it before. Great place, great place. Oh, yeah. 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 Will you, will they chin check you? Well, I didn't get chin checked there, and and I didn't get chased. But the guy who I was with, they started duffing him out in the park. Yeah. They started duffing him out, so I just you know, just so, very quickly went yeah. up. You up sound the, like one of them Lincoln. <laughs> I very quickly went up the stairs. And, hang on, it, it, it was a, a house party. I very quickly went up the st- up the stairs and then hauled ass oh, a, shit. a couple of blocks. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Star, man. 
Love your love your movement, man. I, Salute. I, I'm I'm with you, bro. Salute. Keep keep banging it. Thank you, man. Salute. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness um hi evelyn wow it's been a while thank you for your donation yes i'm i'm back in new jersey i left uh georgia back in uh july and and uh i'm here i'm, I'm loving well i'm loving stone harbor i have i bought this house in 2004 it's the first time i'm living here though and i've already got a buyer so i plan to move to uh the crystal coast of north carolina um after january but uh okay holler you know if, if you want to possibly get together send me a picture you know we'll go from there but thank you for your nice donation okay odd vote tapping in what is this okay odd vote, you're sending me a goddamn paragraph what is this says so, odd vote, can you just call in H hang on a second and, and odd vote, my alleged daughter said that she unblocked you. You you said something about a a, a victim uh, weeks ago in the comments section, and she said she blocked you, but I told her to unblock you, okay? So if you want to call in, call in, but please just stay stay focused, please, okay? Um, Nat, I got your donation. Nat says supporting the machine. Thank you so much, Nat. Two-tone, got your donation. Uh, okay, folks, I can't just click on links. Who are you? Alex, Alex says, would you rather watch a tree grow or knee grow? <laughs> Thank you for your donation, okay? Let's go back to the phone lines here. Um, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Area code 954. Is that who I think it is? 954. Good evening, sir. Yes. What's really, really hood, though? Crime skills. How are you, sir? Good to hear from you. <laughs> It's always good to hear from you, man. Anytime I see you got certain topics, you already know what it is. Yeah, man. Where do you want to start? Well, when you said earlier, you said he's getting his nigger wake-up call. <laughs> <laughs> the words of Paul Mooney. The, the words of Paul Mooney. A nigger wake-up call. Come on. Star. I'm gonna be the first to say this on your show, Come on. and I'm willing to put, I'm willing to bet money also. Diddy's gonna go to prison. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, let's go. Gonna go. To, um, you, want, you, you want me to break it down? Please, I have time. Come on, sir. I got time. Je Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein, Harvey Weinstein, uh, Harvey, Harvey Weinstein. And Bill Cosby were way more powerful than Diddy. What happened to them? <laughs> we already know. We know. Diddy's gonna. D D Diddy's gonna go to prison. Mm -hmm. Let me. One thing. One thing. A lot of people. I, I, a few of. I read probably a handful of people is speaking on it. But one thing. A lot of black people don't understand that you can't accuse. Or use that racism um, accusation against just any and any body in this mm -hmm. country that that's ruling with power. You can't use that. You can't use that. You just can't. Okay. And 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 and, and people that's really pay attention and understand when Ish started going south for him. They know what I'm talking about, but I, I'm willing to put money on it. Hmm. And I mean, I, now, hang on a second. Crime skills so, on some serious, mm. uh, on, on some serious shit. Do you want to see Diddy mm. go go to the penitentiary? I don't. I mean, just uh, if he's convicted, I, if he's convicted of something, that's 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 different. But just just on some hating shit. Nah, I'm the objective. No, no. I'm, I'm the objective hater. I don't wish jail upon nobody. Go ahead. I don't. I honestly don't, but I'm not in control. It's what I see. It's, that is just that simple. I, I really don't. To be, I don't have no problem with the dude, but I, I can't. I, I can't. I can't see the whole breakdown and not say it. It will happen. It will happen. This is. It, it's. A. It, it, you see. You see what it is. Is this? They're going to use him to put a fear within every other so-called. Blacks that's supposed to be billionaire of 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 power of of people of pro prominent black people that that we look up to 
they're going to you they're going to they're going to dis remember he they built him up they're going to destroy him and that's going to send a shock wave and have all of these other niggas walk a straight line I'm let me jump in here for a second crime skills N now what would that mm -hmm. what would that prove to to sit diddy down not saying that it won't happen but i mean what would that prove if you look at his track record you know voter died remember voter died that, that that was that was pure trash. Uh, the Revolt TV summits, <laughs> the Revolt TV summits are just glorified fucking uh, party conventions. With all due respect, Diddy has no power. He's rich, yes. <laughs> he, he's rich. He's rich, but he has no power. What? Why would the Illuminati want to sit him down? Tell me. <laughs> oh man, yeah, you. Friday, I got you, man. Yo, stop, stop playing with people, intelligence, man. Come on, stop doing, come, stop doing that, bro. Respect, cause stop doing that, okay. man. I got you, Friday. I appreciate the call. Respect you. every yes, time, sir. all right. Respect. Okay. All right, all right. All right. Okay. Crime skills tapping in. Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour movie. Did anybody see it? I'm, I'm one hour in, and you know, just. I've never seen her live in concert, so, you know, watching the movie is it's different than actually being there. But I think in this particular case, it's a good thing that I can watch it and then make somewhat of a determination and then possibly go see her in concert. I probably will. I like her music. I know a good portion of her catalog. However, I, I want to say this, and, and this is not just because I'm a man of a certain age. Uh, a couple of months back, what's the guy's name, Charlemagne's, uh, Charlemagne's buddy? Is it Andrew Schultz? He kicked up a little dust. He tried to say something about Taylor Swift was on Michael Jackson's level. No, n no, she's not. No, she's not. Um... And I don't have to go into my history about working at record labels and you know, marketing and promotion and rollouts for a decade before you ever heard of me. No, but, but I, I do want to make a point about something. This is very important. Every time the Jackson 5 and then the Jacksons and then Michael Jackson dropped a project, it led the charge. It led the charge. It set a new course. It steered r b and pop. Never mind Thriller. Off the Wall was such a monumental album. Never mind the word classic. Monumental. Michael Jackson crossed boundaries. Nobody faints for Taylor Swift. So I just, I had to say that. I had to say that. So that we can stop this comparison because people will always, uh, well, we have more people on the planet. We have more uh, 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 avenues to, to stream music now. So people will outsell Michael Jackson. People will get more uh, Grammys than Michael Jackson. But there has not been another Michael Jackson since Michael Jackson. Can I get an amen in the live chat? Chris Brown, although he tries and tries and tries, he's not Michael Jackson. Usher, Usher's great, tries and tries and tries, he's not Michael Jackson. There is no new Michael Jackson, but there might be a new Taylor Swift. But again, I've only seen one hour of her, uh, 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 what is it, uh, the Eras Tour. Movie. And I like what I see so far. But her songs are classics. Yes. But I don't know if she has any monumental songs that changed the course of society. You see, Michael Jackson changed the fucking game. Again, I just want to say that. I like Taylor Swift. She's my type of girl. I grew up dating chicks who look like her. I'm from New Jersey. Scotch Plains, you know this already. Taylor Swift 
went farther than Debbie Gibson. Anybody go back that far? Debbie Gibson, Atlantic Records. I promoted Debbie Gibson. I was wearing a fucking Electric Youth silver jacket when she was on tour. I went to like six of her concerts. Debbie Gibson from Merrick, Long Island, born in Brooklyn. Her songs, some of her songs are classics, but not monumental. So, having said all of that, has anyone seen Taylor Swift in concert, or have you seen the Eras Tour movie? So far, I like it, but I don't... Yeah. The, the, the next two hours, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be looking for a lot of things to see if she is really, you know, going to be, a, if anybody will give a fuck in 25 years. Or are her songs just songs that represent the current times? And the great songs, don't get it twisted. Uh, let me go back to the phone lines here. Oh, I think... Uh, well, I had, where is he? Did he drop out? I think he dropped out. I'll go to 973 in the meantime. 973, we're talking about Diddy stepping down from Revolt, Taylor Swift, or uh, this game, Goofy Nigga. Former security, are you there? Ryan Thompson. Yes, sir. Good evening. Star. Yes, sir. Star. Well, good, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, Star. Good evening. Who are you? How you doing, sir? This is Brian Thompson. How are you, sir? Where do you want to start? Taylor Swift is garbage, man. Ain't nobody going to see that shit but white kids. You know what I mean? Sir, I need you to watch your black mouth. You sound like you're an older, <laughs> you're an older man. Just, just watch your mouth. And, and listen, uh, you don't have to convince me. <laughs> she sold uh, hundreds of millions of, of uh, songs and and she's lit so what if you think she's garbage that's fine the question was did you see the eras tour movie that's the question no nah, i wouldn't waste my money star okay okay i wouldn't waste my money you know what i mean and, and and with diddy i gave all my clothes away from sean john i don't wear clothes for um rapists well, sir, sir, I want you. To, I, like, I want you to slow down, sir. I will get your dumb ass out of here. He has not been convicted of rape. If, <laughs> th thank you, sir. Just it sounds like a nigga who's got a doohickey in his pocket. You guys know what a doohickey is? That's an old word for a crack stem. Don't call me talking stupid, nigga. I don't know you. Asking me how am I doing? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't care how you're doing. Join the conversation. And get the fuck out of here. <laughs> guys also um i am promoting my sponsors uh this evening as you know youtube.com forward slash at the nba report great content with regards to basketball okay where are you sir hold on a second where is area code 904 i don't see you i, I guess you had to uh click off call back in in the meantime area code 323 diddy has stepped down or you up to speed Three, two, three. Yes, I am. Uh, What's up, Scar? This is Dewan. How you doing today, brother? Hey, man, I just I, I, I slipped. <laughs> Dewan, De ah, ah. how are you, man? Yes, sir. Uh, we reposted your banner in the community section. Tell us about the, uh, the 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 documentary. And you're in you're out of town right now. We're out of the country. Yes. Yeah, I'm not down in Cabo right now uh, with Let's this go. Mexican Wi-Fi. So don't trip if my if my camera if, if my phone starts tripping. Come on, man. You have the floor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was calling. I was talking about the topic, Diddy, and uh, and that. Okay. Um, Go ahead. Yeah. It's funny because I've been talking about Diddy a lot lately on my YouTube channel for the last uh, year or so. Okay. Since he posted that tweet about a he, po he posted a tweet about a year ago saying, uh, how did R&B die and who killed R&B? Right. And I did, a show about, <laughs> I did a show about a year ago, and the answer was... <laughs> You, nigga. You, you did. <laughs> <laughs> like, music, music is my heart and soul, man. Right. And um, and it just, it, you know, when, when you get to the Diddy era, they kill, that's where all the music talent was taken out of rhythm and blues and put on a two-bar loop like hip-hop. Mm. And right. and that's what he did. And, you know, and, and, and the, the, the sonic, like, it's not like the music my father-in-law, Mr. James Carmichael, proposed. Okay. Uh, it's not like that, you know, where you had these different 
strings, orchestrations, mm-hmm. horns, all these different beautiful sounds like we had back in the 70s and the 80s. Yeah. When you get, when you get to the Diddy era, they take all that crap away and just have somebody sing over a loop. Yeah. And so yeah. with him being somebody like I've never been a big fan of his, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and I never liked I, I like I want him to go to jail just for what he did to our music. I don't Ooh, care about the rest of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hang, hang, hang on. Okay, Dewan, De- I, I, yeah. I, I feel you. I feel you. Uh, on the screen right now, hopefully I have the right information, youtube.com forward slash at D-W-A-N-N-B. That's your platform, yes? That's it. Okay, I want to make sure I'm promoting you. Um, y- you know... Diddy and I, we, we have a, a good relationship. We had a hard speed bump one time. And, and then we got back on track. Um, I don't wish jail upon the guy, but it is shine time right now. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, I did take issue years ago. Uh, you, you are a, a, a music historian and you're also uh, your, 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 your documentary shows that you are a cultural uh, 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 informative person. I took issue with Diddy talking about we invented the remix years ago. Do you know who, who really invented no. the remix and, and the 12-inch extended music once upon a time on radio? Well, there was no one person. There was a lot. The remix. No, no. Jocko Henderson and Frankie Crocker used to do that. No, 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 no. Shep Pettibone. If you ever get time, Shep Pettibone. I got to look him up. Yeah, man. Shep Pettibone. Thank you for me up on game with yeah. that. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm as old as dust. I, I shot dice with Farrakhan, but um, <laughs> Shep Petty bone. So I, I used to get at him, make no mistake about it, man. And then we we clashed a few times. But um, with regards to him stepping down and this guy uh, who I want more information on, uh, Roger Bonds. What are your thoughts on him coming out after being named in the lawsuit by Cassie? Now talking about he's got daughters, diabetes, and he was sick of Diddy. What are your thoughts, Duan? Uh, I, I, you know, when people come out, I tend not to listen to too much of the people who pile on. I don't want to be that guy. Okay. You know, I I don't know as much about him as I should to really have much of a thought. I'm like you, you know, I want to find out who he is first oh, yeah. before I figure out, yeah. before, before I start to, I don't, I'm not too aware who, who he is because it's, we, we oftentimes fall into that mistake of, uh, you know, when one person, and then make no mistake about it. I do not like anything about Diddy never have, mm. but at the same time, okay. I'm not going to sit here and pile on. Just because somebody else uh, is coming out, because they wait, they waited for someone else to come out and say something. Now they want to come on behind that. I don't know enough about him to really pile on like that, so I don't want to speak out of ignorance. Okay, okay, okay. But now, what do you think about him stepping down from Revolt? And they released statements very quickly. Oh. I read the statements earlier, um, and and they're saying, uh, you know, that uh, uh, well. He's saying, by way of the media, that this is temporary. I think that they have uh, ousted him. What are your thoughts? Oh, he out of here. Uh, on, on, on top of like doing music, I'm also a card reader, and okay. I did a show on my YouTube channel two months ago on Diddy. Okay. And if you, I can go back to the show, and I and I read, I read, I read, I read playing cards, not tarot cards. Okay. Regular playing cards you play poker with. I read those, and I read them on my show live, okay. and on my show. I, I said Diddy's getting ready to go for bankruptcy. He's about to get a whole bunch of lawsuits coming his way. I said that two months ago. It's all in his cards. I was like, okay, yeah, this brother's been putting out a whole lot of negative energy to a lot of people, and he's in that season where all that stuff's coming back to him. So Diddy's legal trouble is just getting started. Hmm. Um, we, we haven't even heard the most of what's going to come out about him. So right. him stepping down, that he's, he's not coming back because there's more coming out. This is just getting started. Yeah. He's just trying to save face right now when it comes to this part of it. Um, yeah, so yeah, with Diddy, you know, he's put out a lot of, a lot of energy that we all got to pay for what we put out in, in, in different ways, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. you know, you put that out there, it, it comes back, and I don't, I'm not one, I'll, I'll be the first to talk, to call racism when it is racism, I'm okay. the first one to call that. Okay. But some people, some niggas just put out a, put out a lot of bad shit and they got to pay for it, and that's what I see with him. Okay. Uh, tell us about your documentary before you go, um, it's, we reposted it in the community section, and, and for people who, who don't know uh, the, the work that you've done, the incredible research, please. Yes, it's, called, it's Bigger Than Hip Hop, the Black American Music Family Tree. It's all based off my Black American Music Family Tree that I put together a couple of years ago. And I'm not, now I'm doing a documentary series on it. And, um, and with this series, the first episode is out of my YouTube channel. 
The second one is in the middle of being filmed right now, where the second episode is going to be uh, talking about the uh, gospel influence, uh, the how 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 what what the churches, how black musicians and black artists learn in the church, right. and how gospel is the nucleus and the basis uh, form of our music. I agree. And how through gospel we get EDM, yeah. we get disco, funk, and all the different sounds. And so mm -hmm. on the next installment. Uh, I have uh, some some really dope musicians that I've that I've re uh, recorded already that are going to be into it, talking about you know where they come from in church, nice. hip hop artists, jazz artists, and so people are going to get to see that because again, going back to these people saying that Black Americans are influenced by the Caribbean, these people oh, stop they it. don't know nothing. Yeah, our music, we don't Black Americans, we're a very ethnocentric culture. We really don't pay attention to anything outside of us. We really don't yeah. care about nobody else outside yeah. of us in a lot of ways, for, for better or worse. But, you know, and we're, we're too busy trying to sound better than the church down the street to be worried about what somebody's doing in the Caribbean with their music. That's a fact. And yeah. so that's something that I want to, that, that I'm focused on to talk about how culturally we pass these things down through the church and out of the church are music flowers. And so I want to really get that uh, noted so people can see where our music truly comes from. Because our music comes from the spirit, not from copying off somebody else's homework. Okay. Hey, man, great to talk to you, and let's get you back on the phone uh, again when you get back from uh, 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 Mexico. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. You have a good one. You too. All right. Dwan Brown tapping in. Guys, I want you to check out the homie. Oh, he's, he's got some great interviews. <laughs> great interviews. YouTube.com forward slash at Jersey's Concrete. Great interviews. Jersey's Concrete, okay? Um, uh, Spirit, I got your other donation. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, sp Spirit, salute, salute. Okay. Good to hear from you, sir. Okay. Um, okay, I don't know what... Folks, please do not send me blank emails. I I'm not clicking on anything. I'm not your friend. I don't, I don't click on blank emails. And I certainly don't goddamn delete anything. Uh, pardon me, I don't download anything. I don't download random fucking files. Thank you, Deeds. Deeds says uh, Roger Bonds deleted his Instagram page. Well, that's okay. We, we, we've got screenshots. Trust me. Trust and believe. Frank, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Uh, I was trying to help. Okay, so okay, th thank you so much. I don't want to talk about nothing but uh, the the topic tonight. But thank you so much. Oh, 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 oh wait a minute, Florida boy Jay, you there, sir? FBJ on a Wednesday evening. Vince Star, we in the building. We in the building, and <laughs> I, I just want to come out here first off and say I'm tired of whole ass niggas with retroactive punishment or or, or want to jump out when it's safe. Right. You know he had. You know he has his homeboy Roger Bonds out here. Right. Uh, finally stepping forward and trying to act he's doing right or just trying to get in front of things. Right. I'm pretty sure right. once the cash news came out and people start uh, lining up the timeline with him and, you know, his employment with Disney, they're like, wait a minute, you was probably around when all this uh, uh, stuff was occur occurring. What was you doing about it? Yeah. And now he wants to speak up because he had a Vlad interview and he wasn't breaking news. I saw it. Uh, 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 I I saw yeah. the interview a, a while back. You know, I, I pay attention to these niggas, especially, especially if it's a a, a Harlem nigga. Oh, they, them them niggas are so much uh, into the double talking. But now, um, uh, do we know the timeline of when he worked with with uh, Diddy's? I think he started with the um, the Best of Both Worlds tour back back when R. Right. Kelly walked off the stage. This nigga act like he was some some G. He told Diddy get behind him. So, so that's when yeah, he yeah, that's started working with him. But when did he leave or get fired? And is the nigga pussy? That's my question. Listen, okay, so I'm going to just jump out in front and already tell you I don't have an accurate timeline of when he got fired or let go. Okay. So if they if that came out, if that's another video, just uh, just you know, I'll find it. But he's a certified whole ass nigga like i said before because it's just like the surviving r kelly thing 
or uh, uh, the, the Harvey Weinstein thing. Right. When people start getting the Russell Simmons thing, when people start getting exposed, and everybody wants to come out with a tell-all book and their trauma story from their perspective of the abuse. But you helped the abuse carry forward because you never did anything about it. Same with R. Kelly's brother when he was over there or in his bodyguard. Like, we don't want to hear nothing from you anymore. You should be in jail with him because you were low-key complicit in the things that was occurring for a paycheck. Yeah, That's how I view him, being a whole-ass nigga. Yeah. When he hop up talking about, oh, I was tired, but I was tired of you. Why are you telling us over the phone? Why I know you ain't saying that to Diddy. You, right. you just no call, right. no show. You can't right. even quit. You can't even go into to 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 your place of work. But you know, as a man, and tell him, hey, I quit. I can't do the job no more. You on IG barking at us. <laughs> it, and, it probably got to the point where where Diddy was texting this nigga, yo, where we at? We running down on on so and so up at Republic Records. I need you to watch the door while I split somebody in the fucking head. With the axe and this nigga, oh no, 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 yo, yo, I'm not my, I gotta, I gotta take my daughter to school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, also let me out the car, though. Also, also, uh, boys in the hood, time like nigga, <laughs> it, it, it's cool though. You know, you know, it's cool though. I just want to, I just want to salute Cassie's legal team also because they didn't just sue Puff Daddy, like you know, they sued the corporations right. as an employee. You said you, you yeah. And and with the commercial liability insurance and directors and officers right. insurance, right? Him being a CEO and everything, there's two policies that they got to settle for. So he had no control over that being settled in under 24 hours. Right. That's like you getting a little fender bender. You hit up State Farm and you tell them, well, they ran the red light. They're gonna say we're gonna settle and you're gonna pay the deductible. We're gonna up your insurance. That's pretty much what happened. Let me jump in. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. You see. There was more than likely a clause in his contract with wh whoever is the parent company for Revolt TV. I don't know. I, I, I didn't even have time to fucking do the research. That if he brought any type of uh, uh, lawsuits or public something or other, they would then retain the controlling interest. Th thus, the reason why they, they made such a decision to possibly be the ones to push the settlement with Cassie. I don't know. I hear what you're saying. I've, I saw someone else allude to that, but um, they may have pulled the trigger on settling with her in, in, in a power move to, to get more power away from him. You follow me? Because he may have just been a figurehead. The same way Russell Simmons, uh, in his last couple of years with Def Jam, he was just a figurehead. It was actually Kevin Lyles and Lior Cohen that ran Def Jam, not Russell. You, you follow me? Yeah, yeah, I'm following. I'm following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they may have stepped in and said, oh, well, we're going to settle with Cassie, and then it gives us power to get you the fuck out of here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, so basically, as you can see with um, Macy's stock here and Sean John, other brands are disconnecting themselves Uh Certain collegiate organizations have uh, disconnected themselves from Diddy this past week. Yeah. So if he really wants to leave anything to his kids, he has to step down for anything he's controlling right now. Because these, you already know, insurance policies can threaten the companies that he's still associated with, not renew any of their policies if he still has positions with these respected companies. At the end of the day, he just yeah. cost himself the bag. So going off and doing that, Russell mm -hmm. Simmons, it's like, can you even liquidate what's left? Because it's really, it's, it's being evaporated in thin air. And I think I'm gonna say this before I before I leave my plane. They're gonna evaporate his finances before they circle around with the Keefe D. And when, when Keefe D is gonna start pointing fingers, once Diddy's pockets are being drained from this thing, that's what's gonna leave him open to this court case that I feel like Keefe D is gonna put on. Hang on a second, Florida boy Jay. Before you go, um, I'm I'm not trying to clown anybody. Uh, thank you for your input on the the topics that that you know are on the uh, on the table here tonight. But did you check on uh, CVR, he sent me an email, said he had a situation in Jacksonville. That's, that's your town. Did you, can you send him an email or did you see if he's okay? Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't send him an email yet. I'm still confused on, um, okay. Say, say no more, say, say no more, but just, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if he's yeah. okay. I'll, I'll hit him up. I'm you you see the email address, right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Just, I got you. You don't have to, you don't have to say you're coming to his rescue. Just say, hey, man. I'm in Jacksonville, Star said to check on you, and then tell him to get a hold of me, okay? For sure, for Th sure. Thank for you, sure. sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, have a good night. Okay. It's my nigga photo boy, Jay. Steve, are you out there? Are you okay?
Jacksonville niggas ran down. The fuck? He was, he was streaming live somewhere in front of a church, according to his email, and then I responded, and then I haven't heard nothing. Richard, I got you donation. Now we know what take that take that means. Okay. That was cute. Okay. Um Patrice, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Uh somebody. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. Um Alexander, but thank you for your, your donation. I'm coming to the phones, guys. Just sit tight a second. Raw was white boy Rory. <laughs> Rory, have they calmed have they calmed down in Dublin yet? Have they calmed down yeah. in your country? Ireland. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, nah, my country is America, but yeah, in my in my in my mom's country, my forefather's country, in the motherland. Right, right. Yeah, they chilled out a little bit. They chilled out a little bit. They chilled out a little bit. You got, you got a truce. You got a kind of like a Gaza four-day truce until they turn up again. You know. So, so the uh, oh. the person who allegedly stabbed uh, two or three children has been arrested, and, and that's what calmed things down. Yeah, I think they calmed down a little bit because you know. Um, they're just regrouping, to okay, be honest okay. with you. I think it's a start of a If you're move. not sure, just say star. It's a, it's a star. star. I'm, not, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's nothing wrong with saying. No, nah, star. Nah. I think it's the start of a movement. I think that was just a spark okay. before the fire gets lit. Okay. I'll be honest with you. Okay. I think that was just a spark before the fire gets lit. Gotcha. And uh, we're going we gonna to run these Muslims out of ireland i'm guaranteed they're gonna run the most of right, easy with the hate speech exactly. easy with the hate speech slow down all slow right. down okay all, all right, right all right so, but just like st patrick's just like st patrick ran all the snakes. all right easy rory rory we're not going in that direction we're not i asked you a question let's get past it now before we talk uh, about diddy i want your opinion on Diddy uh, stepping down. Diddy the gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but before we get to him, before we yeah, get to Diddy's him. Yeah, Diddy's a gangster. Before we get to him, Taylor's. I don't know. I don't know where all the hate is coming from. Diddy's a gangster. Okay. That's all right. You know, these people, these people are getting at him a little bit. You know, they're trying to, trying to, trying to, um, you know, uh, test the waters with Diddy. Diddy is not. Diddy is the Teflon Don of hip hop. Diddy is the Teflon Don of hip hop. Suge Knight ain't got nothing on Diddy. None of them West Coast cats got nothing on Diddy. Diddy been around. He, he's a real gangster. I said this before on the show. Diddy's a real gangster. Diddy, we've all said that. We've, as an intern. We've all said that. No. Yeah, he's a gangster, man. They could they could they could mess with his money a little bit. You think fifty million or something to Diddy? 50 million is out the window to Diddy, man. Okay. Out the window. Okay, 50 million. That's 2023. We had a little incident, had to pay a little bit of money. We 2024, we made another 50 million. Okay. On top of almost this 900 million. Now, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on him stepping down from Revolt? And now you got the, uh, the uh, former security uh, driver, uh, Roger Bonds, posting stuff about Diddy and uh, there were other people and then deleting his whole page. What are your thoughts on that, Rory? Yeah, he's probably some dude for the projects or something like that. You know, he's trying to get his name out there. Nobody heard of him. Nobody knows him. After th 25, 30 years, all of a sudden, Roger Bond's name comes up. Come on, man. That, that's yeah, I mean, Diddy could get him... Easy, you know, easy, not here no easy, more. Easy, easy. If he wanted to, nobody know Roger Bonds. Who's Roger Bonds? Oh. You know, you talking to you? I'm telling you, Giddy is the Teflon dog, man. He's a real dude. He not only did the college thing, business, but he's a gangster. He's always been a gangster. And uh, you know, I know everybody want to see his downfall, but as far as hip hop goes. Diddy is in the Hall of Fame of hip hop. Diddy did his thing, especially for New York City. Okay. You can't tell me nothing. Okay. Diddy was Diddy was that okay. that guy. Right. Diddy was that guy. 
All right, now listen, before before you go, I, I need you on something here. I need you. Um, I've never seen Taylor Swift live. The other day, you said Taylor Swift is R&B. Maybe you were sipping. I don't know. I watched one hour of uh, Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour, the movie. Have you seen it or have you seen her in concert? Do you know her music? Taylor Swift, Rory. I, I'm like, I never bought her music, but I did see her concert uh, on on TV, okay. not, not live or anything like that. But I stand by what I said. I mean, Taylor Swift is white girl R&B. I didn't say she was r and B. I I said she was white girl R&B. And Taylor Swift, uh, yeah. I mean, you don't see the brothers at well, all. Well, hang on a second. Slow down. I, I, I want not us to have, music. Hey, Rory, 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 I want us to have a conversation. No, she's not R and B, nor does she have to be. I like what she does. I, I I don't like the comparisons to Michael Jackson. I don't think anybody's in Michael Jackson's category. Anybody. But I was just trying to make a point earlier. I've only seen an hour of, of the new movie. Again, it's called Eras. I like what I see so far. But my question, my question, if you can, you know. Do you think in 25 years people will care about her music yeah. or, or is it just music of the times now? Some people put out great music that represents a certain time period and that's it. And then there are others who make make music that, that transcends decades, 20, yeah. 30, 40, 50 fucking years. It never ages. That's the question. What do you think about her music? I think she I think she benefits by the time because the music is trash right now and it's been trash for a long time. Okay. But I still think if you put her in a versus uh versus Beyonce or any other of these black women that are doing R and B or pop, she'll bust their ass. Mm. She'll bust their ass. That, that's what I say. You're making it a black and white thing. And, yeah, I, and I mean, Rory, Rory, I don't want you to do that. You don't have to do that just because you, you're you're white. You're you're Irish. I'm just asking about her music. This isn't about Beyonce versus Taylor Swift. I like what I've seen so far, but I just I don't know if the music is gonna last. And and one of the examples I gave was Debbie Gibson. The music didn't last. It was just teeny bopper shit. Decades later, Tiffany, who I also, during that particular time, I think we're alone now. You ever heard that song? Doesn't do, what yeah, around? Yeah, 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 yeah. Teeny bopper shit. It, did, it didn't make it, you know, decades later. Do you understand what my question is? Is Taylor Swift's music going to be relevant in 25 yeah. years? Never mind Beyonce. Come on. No, no, I completely understand. That's why I said... She's only really she benefits from the time because the music isn't good right now. Okay. So she's like the only thing that that is kind of good. Mm. You know, she doesn't have much competition at all. Do you think that she's gonna last the test of time? I just you know you know music. I more just fucking said for the fifth goddamn time. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck. Hey, hey, right, for people, hey, for people who don't know, you, you've said this to me. I'm not trying to clown you. You said you have a hearing problem, right? You said that. Yeah, if you're standing next to me, you know, I might not hear you that well. <laughs> All right. Well, I can All hear right. everything you fucking say. I mean, what the fuck are we talking about? Watch the F-bomb. Thanks for call for call. Yo, sir, yo, Sir Shy <laughs> sounds like a girl. By the way, Sir Shy had a lot to say about me in the super trash and all of that stuff. That's not fair. Oh, did sir he? Shy got on the line tonight. He sound like a girl. He sound man feminine. He got a Glock Dookie, a Chicago Glock Dookie in his mouth. Ooh. He's spitting in dudes' butts since he was nine years old. Oh, Yo, wow. Sir Shy, you are half a girl, man. Okay. You are half a girl with a bunch of braids and shit. <laughs> all right, yo, so, all right. So, right. shot got extended eyelashes and shit. Yeah, you some right. sucker. We'll talk later. We'll F talk Chicago. later. Chicago. We'll talk later. All right. All right, so. <laughs> That's my guy, but he he admitted he's got a hearing problem. So it's I just had to correct him. I don't know if she's gonna be around or if her music will last twenty five years.
Anybody want to spoil the next two hours of the Taylor Swift movie? Call in. So far, I like it. I like her. I'm trying not to be biased, but, you know, just I like I like her body. She's got no ass. I like chicks with a flat ass. <laughs> she looks like a mannequin sometimes, you know, she's. <sighs> Hold on a second. Uh, who's sending in donations here? Thank you for your support. OK, spirit check. I sent you an email. Spirit, check your uh, email, please. OK. All right, all right. Um, Purvis, thank you for your donation. Purvis says, did he gonna pop up in Bali? Okay, Purvis, I saw, oh my goodness, I saw Aaron Rodgers working out. What was he doing with uh, the football? Is he trying to come back? <laughs> He's trash and the Jets are trash, but thank you for your donation, Purvis. Uh Okay, Sam from Uniondale, do you want to call in? Call in, Sam. Just shoot me an email say, saying, star, I'm on the line. Call in, Angel Reese. Is that your new video? Hey, Janet. Janet says, Roger, bonds on being Diddy's security, Alpo murder case at 19, yada, yada, yada. Thank you, Janet. Yeah, I, I've seen those links, but I just... I, I want to stay focused on uh, uh, this guy speaking up now that um, Cassie put his name into the, the into the legal complaint. I think he's a goofy. I don't trust him. I've broken so many stories over the decades, and I've seen people like him C claim in the streets, yo, yo, I'm a real nigga, yo. And then you get into some real shit, and then, then all of a sudden, you fold like a fucking chicken wing. You don't want to be around Diddy. Why? Did, did, did he, uh... <laughs> Why, Diddy was doing too much and come to find out you ain't really about that life? Hold on a second. Here, here's one of my old associates. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The white boy from Crenshaw, Paul Stewart, is that you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good to hear from you, man. What's cracking, Paul? Paul Stewart, a legend, an icon, an architect. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I, I heard them talking about you on the Math Hoffa show the other day. Oh, yeah? They were talking about you. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, Marrow's interview. Who? And they started talking about uh, your some of your infamous uh things that happened when you was on the radio and stuff. Can you, can you send me a link? Math Hoff is my guy, but I, I haven't seen that yeah. particular episode. Yeah, definitely. Okay. It was it was with Meryl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to send you the link. Yeah, cool, yeah. cool, um, cool. Man, you know, I saw DJ Vlad posted an old video from this Roger Barnes guy. It, okay. it was like an old video. So I guess he'd been kind of around talking. I didn't watch that video, but uh, I, you're not fucking with him at all, huh? Well, I mean, it's not that I'm not, I'm not fucking with him. I'm just I'm 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 not co-signing anybody who just comes out talking about uh yeah. you know you seen stuff you tried to help right but, right but, Why we, did... but we only hear right. from you after you get named in a lawsuit. So I mean, I'm I'm putting the screws right. in the nigga until we find out just who he is. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, why didn't you come out before? If yeah. It was so foul. Yeah. Yeah. If did yeah. he if he yeah, was no, that if you. he was that. Hard to work with. Why didn't we? Why didn't you go back on Vlad TV? You run your mouth, nigga. Right. You run your fucking mouth. Right. <laughs> well, it's certainly opportunist time. Right. I mean, you know, the, uh, when they had that that uh, deadline for the lawsuits, man, they started flying in, right? Mm, facts. Facts. Yeah, yeah. But you know, another thing though, I started. I started watching. I watch all these videos, and I'm tripping on like when he went and. Smack Steve Style with the champagne bottle and oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like plucked in some off the wall shit back in the day that we just kind of forget. You know, we just kind of like like he rolled up into Universal Records. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like uh, Interscope, you know, you know, huge record company, right? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty wild. You think about it. Uh, as I'm sure you know, because you're from um, um, California. Um, Keefe D says after uh, Tupac and 
uh, Suge Knight were, were shot at, you know, he got a call from Diddy and Diddy said, was that us? Remember that? That's what Keefe D said. Yeah, sure. I've seen all those videos. I've seen all those videos. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, so, so for people who, who may not know who Paul Stewart is, uh, your, your, your legacy is uh, cemented. Uh, you want to give, us a, give them a little background? I know you very well, Paul. Please. Okay, well, I signed Star and Buck Wild to a record deal. I think that was like, you know, one of the biggest things I did. But I, I, I did discover uh, Warren G, The right. Far Side, House of Pain, Coolio right. as a manager. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm a record label. Uh, Montel Jordan, this is how we do it, was on there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had a bunch of hits. And then, but early in my career, John Singleton discovered me. I music supervised Poetic Justice. I got to work with Tupac and everything on that. And uh, I've been doing music supervision for a movie and TVs ever since. I've got like 80 yeah. credits. Recently, I worked on Snowfall. Uh, did a little work on Insecure and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, thank you, man. What, 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 uh, what, what was and, it? I, and I'm so what, glad that that I had the foresight to give you a deal because remember when I gave you the deal was early on too. You guys were just in the source. Right, right, right. Hey, listen, you 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 cut the check. We you flew us out there. We had a great fucking time. What well, what what about the guy? Um, he sang on uh, Gangsta's Paradise. LV. He was one of your early uh, uh artists as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still in touch with him. He's out here in the hood. Yeah. I went and saw him the other day. We. Yeah, they, there's Tell a, him I said salute. He, he was a great guy, LV, man. Great guy. Great guy. Great guy, great man. Guy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but. The mayor of the strip club, too. Yo, um, that mo- I don't know if you remember that movie, Rhyme and Reason, but they just had a 30-year screen or some kind of 20-year anniversary screening of it or something, and, uh, and, uh, and they put a book out. Oh, and, really? And uh, LV's in the book, and I'm in the book. We both missed the screening because we came down with this flu and shit, but it, I, I, I went down to with the director and we gave him a copy of the book uh and saw all these great dudes still in the community too okay now are, are you back in the states because you were down there in dr or somewhere in columbia where, where were you where oh were you? yeah i'd be living in santa domingo but i'm currently in crenshaw i go back and forth yeah <laughs> so, what, weren't you running some type of some type of uh uh film industry with uh i, I don't want to say the wrong thing you had a uh you do movies yes sir no. Well, I've been music supervising movies and TV shows since Poetic Justice. Right, right. That's what it was. And I produced a few, produced a few some things here and there. Yeah. But I'm basically in the music space for for film and TV. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, yeah, man. For, you know, and I, 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 for the independent artists out there, I do consulting and stuff too on how to get your music and film and TV. Mm-hmm. I have a very reasonable little thing I'm doing. You know, so if anybody wants to get down, hit me up. Well, listen, man, um, people like yourself, who I've known over the decades, man, uh, you, you're, you're very credible. If you if you want me to hook up a banner and run it at the end of the uh, uh, rebroad, pardon me, oh, the, yeah. the end of the live stream yeah, to, we- you know, send some business your way, I, I would be honored to do that for you, man. You, you're a guy who has so much knowledge. You have a wellspring uh, of knowledge and, and so much experience. If, you know, if you're looking for any clients, whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a great idea. We, yeah. I'm definitely going to do that with you. Yeah, no, it's, it's something, you know me, man, I've always been super artist friendly. And this is something where it's like, I've been doing this for 30 years, man, since Poetic Justice, but I'm very active currently. Mm-hmm. And I've helped so many independent artists get their first placement in film and TV. Right, and right. there's like special rules to it. So it's like, this is really a valid service for what I'm charging people. Like, you should really be able to get your little money back. Because I'm, I'm giving like a lot of insider information and stuff. You know, a lot of people will, won't necessarily take advantage they won't really follow through with all the steps but right. if you do right yeah you know, i'm dropping gems in these consultant calls for sure yeah. you know because it's kind of a secret science to it you know but uh hey, can i ask you a question about the puffy thing absolutely please okay so you've been around the industry for so long right. i know you heard crazy stories and rumors about puff uh throughout the years uh do you feel like this is like kind of like uh making that all to be truth or do you feel this is just like cash grabs or 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 you're not sure um i i I don't know his the the ins and the outs of his business like that so i'm not gonna say karma you know karma is the concept of action I, i i'm not gonna say that but um, someone who was very dear to me back in the, the early days of, of uh, the Star and Buckwall brand when I was publishing a magazine around the way connections, Kirk Burroughs. Do you remember Kirk Burroughs? Sure. 
Sure. He was an early bad boy exec. An early bad boy president. Kirk Burroughs right. and I are still very, very cool. He call, he knows me as Troy. He used to cut me checks to help me get yeah. my magazine rolling once upon a time. And do you know that yeah. Kirk went to prison fucking around with <laughs> Puffy and, and Bad Boy? I didn't know that. Yeah. He went to prison for what? I'm I'm not going to give the full details right now. Okay, but, okay. Right now, but let yeah, me yeah. just say that yeah. Kirk Burroughs has just lawyered up, and that's going to be the Ooh. that's going to be the lawsuit to really shake it all up. <laughs> Kirk wow. Burroughs. So so to answer your question, I don't know the ins and the outs of, of of Diddy's business dealings. I wish nothing bad upon him. He and I are cool. Yeah. But at the same time, man, if if you've done things and people are or are willing to come forward and, and you know, file lawsuits, man. You got to deal with that shit. And, and he's going to have to deal with Kirk, yeah, yeah. Kirk Burroughs. That's a fucking fact. Wow. Well, you know, I seen dude when he was passing out flyers. I remember when Puffy was, like, at the at Jack the Rapper passing out flyers. Yeah. I, I, I've been around dude and, and known him from that long. Mm -hmm. and in fact, I remember when I was hanging out with Quincy Jones' son, and we were at Quincy Jones' hotel room for the vibe thing, and he came up oh, there like shit. trying to like. Quincy was mad at him, you know, so he was up there like trying to like get good with Quincy. So right. he always seen me around a lot of places and right. stuff, you know. But I, I don't have any insider knowledge or nothing. Nah, but just, nah. it's so crazy how all the artists came out so bad. I mean, Mace is bitter, right? I mean, like it's everyone either died or went to jail. There's like almost no bad boy artists that didn't have some kind of horrible fate. It's kind of crazy. I will say this though, Paul. Paul, you, you know what I do like about Diddy? His ego. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like Star. He's like he's like Star. He's a fucking loose cannon at times. I like that about him. I really do. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, without Puff, we never would have got Big. Ooh. So like, I, I mean, like you know, come on, man. Like yeah. Big's my favorite rapper of all time. So you know, and I mean, you know, so I mean, you gotta give him. You know, like separating the art from the person. Like, all that shit Kanye was on recently really offended me, but I like a lot of his music, but I'm just not going to listen to it now. I mean, like, you know, like, you know, I, you read about James Brown. This is the worst uh, woman beaten uh, uh, Emma in the planet, it sounds like. But, man, his music was just genius, you know? So I think there's a thing about separating the art from the person sometimes where it's like we can enjoy the art, but we don't necessarily, like, respect or, 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 or the person or whatever, you know? But it feels like, you know... If he did do some wrong, man, it's going to come out now because everything, the wolves are coming for him. You know, he's having to resign and, and step down and everything. So if there is dirt in his closet with people like Kurt and stuff like that, oof. Kurt, you know, and, and, and like your man said, this Kurt whole Keith Burrows. thing, man, could definitely, yeah. could definitely come look to bite his ass, you know? Kurt Burrows is I don't coming. know if there's any truth to that, of I course, know. you know. Paul, great to talk to you, man, and uh, hopefully we'll see each other again soon, man. Thank you so much. I'm going to hit you up about that banner, my man. Absolutely. Appreciate you. Have a great show, man. Thank you, Paul. Oh, oh, oh. And, I, and when you're talking about Taylor Swift, you beat me to the punch. I was going to say, you only like Taylor Swift because you like white girls with no ass. I was, <laughs> you remember. <laughs> you remember. <laughs> I remember. You like heavy metal and white girls, bro. Come on. I, I... All right. Got to go. Got to hey. go. Got to go. Got to okay, go. Okay. Talk to you soon, brother. Right, thank you. Okay. Right. Hey, don't call me a brother. It's my guy, Paul Stewart. White, white guy from Crenshaw. You know his... Uh, his record very, very well. Wednesday evening, we're having a good conversation about a, uh, a few things here. Diddy, it's my guy, man. Sean Combs. He has stepped down from Revolt. Is it Revolt TV? Well, what is it? Uh, <laughs> what is the proper uh, name? Revolt Media? I don't watch that that channel. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I think it's trash. I think it's trash. I don't know the programming. Years ago, uh, I think it started in 2013. Then maybe like a year or so later, I watched a couple of episodes. I said, this is garbage. This is like a, a knockoff BET. But um, anyway, he has stepped down and statements have been released by Revolt in case you don't know. I'll, I'll read them again, one of these statements. Uh, our focus has always been one that reflects our commitment to the collective journey of revolt. 
one that is not driven by any individual, but by the shared efforts and values of our entire team on behalf of advancing, elevating, and championing our culture. And that continues, okay? They also <clears throat> released a statement. Hold on a second. On Instagram. While Mr. Combs has previously had no operational or day-to-day -day role in the business, uh, this decision helps ensure that Revolt remains steadfastly focused on our mission to create meaningful content for the culture and amplify the voices of all black people throughout, throughout this country and the African diaspora. I hate when people say that, oh, the black diaspora. So that's what we're discussing here this evening, okay? I hope he's okay, but hey, you know, it's shine time, my nigga. <laughs> if you've been doing wrong out there, you know, shit comes back to you, right? Also, uh, the, hold on a second, uh, do, 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 the former security, some people are saying bodyguard Roger Bonds. <laughs> I just, I, I, I don't want to say, or I don't want to sound like it's personal because I don't know this guy, but I just, I don't like people like him that all of a sudden they start to talk in and trying to clear their names, but they said nothing during the, the time period of what was going on. And he then says on social media, as you saw the video, that there were others, not just Cassie. Well, tell us, Goofy, who are the others? Now's the time to talk. If you don't want to talk, then I think you should be sued. And if Diddy gets arrested, maybe he should be arrested. You know, birds of a feather do flock together. It's a whole fucking fact. Blade, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Uh... Okay, thank you, Blade. I don't want to focus on that right now. Okay. Um, Andre, got your donation. Peace, star. I'd like to comment on Diddy. Let's get you on the line here. So where are you? Area code 803. Andre, good evening. Thank you for your support. Where do you want to start, sir? Peace, star. Peace. It's Andre. Peace. Andre, thanks for, for, for letting me tap in. Thank you. How do you want to start, sir? Um, well, uh, you know, to be honest with the, with the, with the revolt, stepping down thing with Diddy, I, I'm not sure if I'm totally sold on it. You know what I mean? It's okay. like, um, cause from my understanding, isn't he like part owner, owner, something like that? So what is he stepping down to like food or beverage or something like that and call strings from somewhere else? So uh, I'm not totally sold on that. You know, is his revolt saying the things that need to be said right now at this particular time? You know, so that's that's something I was thinking about. Um, if I can jump in, um, I I don't know what his percentage of ownership is i do know that he was one of the creators of Re revolt tv i forget the guy's name i don't i don't feel like pulling uh, those notes right now but uh going back to 2013 um so yeah so he has stepped down um i think he he was forced if you ask me based upon uh, uh what i'm reading and gathering here by way of statements and things of that nature and there, there's a black guy i forget his name he's the is it the CEO, the actual CEO of, of Revolt TV? Do you know his name? I, I, I could Google it, but, um, you know, I'm just... I don't, not offhand. Okay. Well, go ahead. While you're talking, I'll Google it. Revolt CEO. Go ahead. Okay. But, yeah, I, like I said, I, it just seemed like to me it was the right thing to do and to say at this particular time. It's very possible, you know, once things die down, he might, mm -hmm. you know, possibly be put right back in position. But possibly. I did hear something a little earlier today where, where um, a, a school out in the Bronx out in Co-op City, kind of, kind of cut ties with him. Okay. Um. Okay. So that's that's a little that's a little different than stepping down. Hmm. Uh, Detavio Samuels, that's the CEO. Detavio, whoever he is. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. 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 Um. And then with the Roger Bonds thing, it it, it really appears like a money grab to me. Um. I, I, I was watching some some interview with him today. Didn't see catch the Vlad one, but I did catch one today. And I'm kind of paraphrasing a little bit, but he did say something to the effect, if anybody uh, is wondering why I kept working, why I didn't say anything, you know, I had to do it for the money. Oh, we're wondering. If you had a job. Yeah, yeah we're wondering. It, 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 
you know, if, if we're wondering, you know, so even right there, it's, it's, it's a money grab, you know what I mean, in my opinion. Uh, where's integrity? You know, where's integrity? You know, that can be, that's somebody's daughter right there. So um, I, I really feel like that's that's a money grab. And it sounds like he's trying to talk his way out of a situation and actually might talk his way into a hole mm. if he gets cross-examined by the right lawyer, you know. But, um, uh, and, and at the end at the end of the day, I really think this whole, whole Diddy thing, it might be possibly part of a bigger issue, you know, that, that nobody wants to get out, you know, so... Uh, it's, it's just a, it's, it's a nasty situation, you know. I don't wish jail on nobody, but I really, really think it's part of a, a, a bigger issue with Diddy. So, you know. Well, my, now, hang on a second, sir. Are you a father? Are you a father? I am. Okay. I am. Any daughters? My daughter passed at birth. She would be fifteen. She would be fifteen, but okay. I have a son that's thirteen. Okay, so you don't technically you don't have a daughter. Respectfully, you don't. Nope. Okay. No, okay. not in the physical, not in the physical, okay. in the physical no, the phys sir. Okay, okay. If you had a daughter of age and she came to you and, you know, said, hey, this is what this man did to me, yada, 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 so on and so forth, would you then wish jail on him? No, I will, I will wish that the powers that be deal with him accordingly, hmm. you know, I've done some things in my life that I'm not too proud of. Nothing drastic like that, of course. But who am I? Who am I to judge? You're a better man than me, sir, because I don't do hypotheticals. But I would run down on that nigga with the Mossberg to touch my door. No, but I, I, nine times I don't I give a fuck about a goofy. Yeah, myself. I give a fuck about no goofy security niggas. <laughs> Nigga, I'm coming to see you. Nigga, I'm hide. I'm hiding in the bushes. Nigga, I'm I'm driving 200 miles. I'm gonna wear a diaper, a diaper, nigga, because I don't I don't plan I don't plan to stop. I'm on a mission. Oh, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> and I ain't scared. Absolutely. And I ain't scared of the penitentiary. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I, I'm not scared, but it's like you. I don't want to go. I don't have time for that. I'm telling. You, I like to go outside. Oh no, I'd have time for that. If you touch my daughter, I'd have time for that. That I have time for. Go ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. But again, again, I don't, I, I don't wish jail on nobody. You know what I mean. And my thoughts and prayers go out to everybody that's involved in this whole situation. And Got I thank you, you for taking my call. Good. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. See. <laughs> Let me slow down. Let me slow down. In my younger days, my teens, and my twenties, and my thirties, yeah. I didn't have time for the penitentiary, but I'm an old man now. <laughs> and even though I don't do hypotheticals, if I had a daughter and a nigga like Diddy, you know, did what uh, uh, the, 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 the complaint says he did to Cassie, to my daughter. Oh, I'd, I'd have time. Yeah. I'd make the cig squirt. I'd let the shoddy rip. <laughs> and, and then it's time. And then it's time to go to the penitentiary. <laughs> I've always said real niggas don't want to go to jail, but we ain't scared. We ain't scared. Never been scared, nigga, okay? Uh, thank you for your donation, uh, Andre. Um, young Kobe got your donation. I never would wish bad on anyone, but Diddy's situation might be good for hip-hop. Oh, get rid of these gatekeepers, and that's not... That's not elevating the culture oh let's go nigga let's go might be time to go man one second okay 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 hold on guys i'm going through some uh Sea Breeze Taxi got you donation. What's the difference between R. Kelly and Diddy? I don't know, sir. <laughs> do you, do you want to call in? Is that, a, is that a joke or are you asking me? You know, <laughs> R. Kelly's been convicted, sir. He's been convicted. Diddy has not been convicted, if you know, if, if you want to be technical, all right? Let's go to area code um, 272. Good evening, 272. Diddy has stepped down from revolt. Are you at the speed? Do you care? 272. Yeah, what's going on, Star? Yeah, he had no other choice, you know what I'm saying? Because if he wasn't, they was going to, they was going to force him to step down. Okay. And the reality is everybody's cutting ties with him because of the allegation. And 
I look at his situation with him and Cassie. The minute she came out with them allegations and he settled with her, everything now is going to be a money grab, whether we believe him or not, because they see what he just did, how he dumped that money out. Right. And the problem a lot of people don't understand, the minute you put an allegation on social media, everybody see it, right? So now, um, picking it back from that, it turns into, oh, yo, this is a good topic. Now you got people throwing money at you for interviews. And if the worst situation is if somebody sit at the table with somebody and do an interview, now you got the whole world listening to it. So it's, even, it's worse for him and somebody doing interviews. So that's why I understand why he gave Cassie the money, whether it was true or not. I understand that. But now everybody's going to come at him now. Everybody's going to keep coming at him. Oh, he did this. He did that. Whether we believe it or not. And now he and his team and lawyers and PR team got to figure out, hey, are we going to just pay these people to go away, send them letters to cease and cease? Because the minute they go do interviews... Cease and desist. Cease and desist. But now hang on a second. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm looking at the actual complaint. Uh, Cassandra Ventura uh, versus Sean Combs. She didn't just sue him. Bad Boy Entertainment, Bad Boy Records, Epic Records, Combs Enterprises, LLC, and Doe Corps. One through ten. So and it's, I, I just want to say this because, you know, it's not just Diddy, yo, Diddy paid her. There's other affiliates and other companies that may have stepped in and said, whoa, we're, we're going to settle this. Regardless of what you say, you're innocent. We're going to settle this because we can't stand this pressure. We're going to give her the 30 million or, or whatever. And, 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 and again, based upon different clauses and stipulations, that may give them more power and or controlling interest. You follow me? Yeah, I got you. I got you there. Uh, but, but again, but I'm, I'm the, just speculating. I don't know for certain, but it's not always about, you know, uh, him just giving her the money. And something similar may have happened with Revolt, uh, you know, uh, um, or maybe Revolt, you know, ha has required more power by him and this particular lawsuit that has just been settled. Go ahead. Yeah, Revolt was trash anyway. I'm sorry. I watched it. It was trash. Yeah. You know, you trash. had the Breakfast Club. You had the, bre you had the Breakfast Club on there what, maybe a year, two years ago. You had uh, State know. of the Culture with Joe Buttons on there. No. So it, it was trash. But I would say this, as far as my man, the security guard, the body guard, come on, bro. He about that bag. And pay attention how he did it. He talked a little about it when he was doing his little, in, on, putting his little stuff on the internet, right? Because what he's trying to do, he wants somebody to pull at and say, listen, I got a bag for you. I got 100000 for you. I got 200000 for you. Sit down and tell me what you know. You understand? So I understand what he, whether he's telling the truth or not, but he's doing it for the bag right now okay. because that's what happens. Okay. A lot of people don't pay attention how it goes. It goes from social media. Once you put something on social media, whether we believe it or not, right. people love to hear stories and drama about other celebrities, of other people, right? Of course, of course. So now you get these, you get these like ABC, NBCs, BET, all these VH1s. You get all these people to grasp to a story to say, here, I give you some. Matter of fact, I even say podcast. Some people, podcast people. I give you this bread. You come here and you tell us your story. I'm gonna ask you the question. You tell me your story, because if you ain't got money and you can get an easy meal or a meal ticket out of something, you gonna do it. And that's what people don't understand when they pay attention to that media. The media will tear you down the minute something go up on that media. And whether it's true or not, you know, because we as a people, we don't know. We don't live with these people. We don't know what goes on in these people's life. But when we see it, we like, damn, did, did he do all this? If I can jump in for a second, I appreciate everything you've just said. But what, what about this possibility? This guy, uh, 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 Roger, what is his name again? Roger Bonds. Maybe, maybe he's a bum. Maybe he's a fucking bum. And, and he came out to try and clear his name. And he's so much of a bum that he, he has now deleted his Instagram uh, uh, channel. And he's a bum on the run. And, and nobody's going to give him shit for a goddamn interview. Well, we'll give you $2,500. Well, 
What about that possibility? Oh, that could be a possibility. Yeah. That could be a possibility. Yeah. But sorry, I'm going to tell you, this goes back, and I know you got to get off. This goes back to remember, if you, remember the Deshaun Watson situation when them allegations came out? When you had one girl come yeah. out, you had another one, another one, another one, and another one. And what happened eventually, he had to settle with all of them. We don't know what he, they got, but we knew he had to settle with all of them right, right. because they would tell you, and I don't care how much money you got, but that money will start going down and down because it's going to start costing you. It's going to start costing your PR team, yep. your lawyers, and most average yeah. lawyers are going to tell you, listen, we got, we need to get in front of this. Right. We need to settle. Right. I don't know how much you want to pay, but we need to settle and get in front of it. So now with Diddy's situation, is Diddy going to have – this ain't just the it for Diddy. I hope it is, but I don't think it is. I think it's going to be some more people going to come out and say some more stuff about him okay. because they already seen him. Oh, he's willing to pay this money? All right, now I'm going to go out there and see what he's going to do. So I don't mean to cut you short, but if you get any intel on, on the bum-ass nigga, Roger Bonds, uh, please holler at me because I'm, I'm calling the police on him as soon as I get anything. Yeah, I think he's, yo, I think he's straight up a bum. Like, you wait till now after that female at the cash come out, you want to say right. something? Come on, bro. Yeah, he's a bum. You looking for a, a straight up pad day. <laughs> you, you definitely a bum. Yeah. Are you going to do that? Matter of fact, you, you going to do that to another brother? Come on, you might as well ask Diddy for a couple of mil. <laughs> <laughs> Good to talk to you, man. Salute, salute, salute. Salute. Yes, sir. <laughs> Anybody got any intel on this bum-ass nigga? <laughs> Roger Barnes? Terrence, got your donation. Maybe an umbrella insurance policy paid Cassie. Yeah! <laughs> that's, that's what we were saying earlier. Florida Boy Jay was saying that. I mean, there's, there's many different possibilities and or scenarios about how Payouts work, you know, and insurance. But either way, the the sharks are in the water. They smell blood. Uh, okay, hang on a second. Somebody wants to know about sponsorship. Give me a second. I'll respond to you. Let me go to area code 815. Late night show. We're talking about Diddy stepping down from revolt. We're talking about Taylor Swift, uh, the new movie. And we're talking about uh, former security. Are you there? 815. Yeah, yeah, I'm here, Star. What's happening? How are you, sir? I'm all right. So, my, see, my thing is, where's, where's the morals again? Like, it, 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 boy, There's no morals. All of a sudden, uh, you know, everybody's coming out with this and that. But they were there when all this stuff was going on. Right. They didn't have nothing to say then. Right. Now everybody got something to say now. Money grab. Everybody say money grab, money grab, money grab. But it seemed like nobody really cared about what really happened. People just coming for the money now. I'm listening. You know? I'm listening. So it's like when all this stuff was going on, all right, so with his body, with his bodyguard, his bodyguard was here. To, his bodyguard was around him the whole time when this stuff was happening. And I kind of see why he probably didn't want to say anything. But, like, morally, if, if he did, he's so wrong for what he did. How come, in, how come nobody said anything when it was going? Tell us, sir. You sound like a knowledgeable man. Tell us why nobody said anything. What? Uh, I mean, you, you, you can say that, they, that, they're, that they, you know, they're afraid of Diddy. Yeah, you know, Diddy, he 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 blew up Kid Cudi's car. You know, it's like it's this information that that's coming out all of a sudden about things that P Diddy had done because of what's going on now. You know, I didn't know P Diddy was as bad as people saying is uh, as as bad as people are saying P Diddy is until everything is coming out now. You know, and it, and it, and it, and it, and it, this, it, it, and uh, somebody else said you had, you had read something that somebody had put uh, as far as this being the same as R. R. Kelly's case, right? You know, and in a way, it's the same as far as people that knew the stuff that was going on, the stuff that R. Kelly was doing. When R. Kelly was doing it, then all of a sudden everybody would want to come out, you know, after these allegations and, and, and uh, these cases started opening, everybody wanted to say something then. But when it was going on, then nobody would say nothing at all. Can I ask, how old are you, sir? How old are you? How old are you? I'm, I'm 44. Okay. 
Are you a working man, yeah. sir? You're a working man. I'm a, you have I'm a work. I'm, I'm a working man. I, I work for the post office. I'm a, I'm a mailman. Okay. I deliver mail. <laughs> you've got a great career, sir. You're a, you've got a great career. Are you a father? Are you a father? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm a, I'm a salute to you, sir. Hang on, hang on, sir. You're a father and you're a working man. My father was a working man. I have a lot of respect for the working man. It's the working man yeah. who goes to work, takes care of the goddamn kids, listens to the wife yeah. run her fucking mouth. You are the back, <laughs> you are the backbone of society. Yeah. Just hang, hang on a second. I got a lot of respect for you. And never mind the, the life that I live, all this freedom, all this peace and tranquility and, you know, <laughs> smashing young bitches when I feel like it. Never mind that. <laughs> You're talking about an industry of demons. I know. Snakes, serpents, disingenuous people. Right. Whores, slores, <laughs> sluts, <laughs> and all sorts of things. So, right. so, so. To answer your question, sir, you know, just be glad that you're a working man. You don't deal with the bullshit. And these people are, are the lowest of the low, the bottom of the barrel. You started, Crazy, out, man. you started out by asking about where are the morals. There are no morals, sir, in, in the entertainment industry. They're all vanity driven. Right? You know this mm. already. You know this. I ain't, yeah, tell, I, 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 I ain't I, telling you something you don't know. You know this. Come I on. know it. But you know what? You know what? Another thing, Star. We've never really. I, I, so before the 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 uh, the internet. I mean, not the internet. Before uh, social media and you know uh, things like that. We never really got all the. It's like now that we have the social media so big, we're starting to get everything. At first, we only got what the daily paper would give us, or or the local news would give us. Now we get everything instantly, man. We know what's going on right away. And well, sir, you get up to the minute, up to, up to date bullshit. <laughs> Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I, I, I mean, are, are are you bothered by are you bothered by this? Or no, just... you know what? No, 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 no. Stop. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered by it at all, man. It is just. Uh, like I said, enjoy the bullshit, uh, sir. Sir, sir you, you're, how yeah. old, you're how old again? 40 what? Uh, 40, 44. Sir, 44. En enjoy the bullshit. Salute to you. For being, <laughs> salute to you for being a working man. You got a pension coming. You got vacation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you got a great job. You got a career, not just a job. You got a career. Yeah, but yeah. you know, it, it, it's just. Just, just to see, just to see, just to see everything, man. Like I said, I, I, everything. As soon as some, as soon as some comes out, man, everybody want to jump and say, you know. But do you really care? People don't really care. That people really don't care. They really don't care. There's, there's one something. There's got something to say, but they really don't give. Up. They really don't. Sir, thegrandreport.com. Write that down. Thegrandreport.com. You got that? Oh, I'm gonna check it out. Let me see. You said the what? The Grand Report. Let me see if that. Hold on a second. Let me. Uh, the, the Grand, Grand Report. Let me see. G R A N D. The Grand Report. dot com. See if it. Comes now what up. is now what is now what is this? That's the bullshit. That's the bullshit. <laughs> we gotta know. Oh, I should I should have to go to their website. We gotta know. No, no, sir, sir, we, sir, sir. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm fifty nine. I wake up to okay, the, okay. I wake up to the bullshit and it puts me in, in, in a great <laughs> a great place, a great space. Never mind Fox News, Fox Five, ABC, no, no. CBS. Listen, please, sir, listen. Now what I, type, sir, what? sir, I let you talk. Please let me talk. I let you talk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Never mind CNN. Go to thegrandreport.com. Wake up to the bullshit. Get a smile on your face and then go to work, sir. All right, you, I'm, 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 I'm gonna check it out. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah, damn, he's doing a whole lot of uh, giggling, ain't he? Trying to, trying to drop a jewel on you. Anybody know about thegrandreport.com? That's my first guy, first goddamn website in the morning. <laughs> Wake up to the bullshit. <laughs> 
There is noth nothing better than seeing a ratchet nigga bitch go bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking over registers and throwing shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Wanting to fight. <laughs> I'm sitting there uh, sipping on a motherfucking uh, uh, coffee. Anybody fuck with the grandreport.com? Wake up to the smile on your face. Here it is. Let me see what they got new here. Uh, Oh, my nigga Lil Flip got a new track. Uh, okay, I'll ch let me, let me uh, check that later. Uh, oh, okay. They got some new videos since uh, since I looked this morning. So, so to the to the working men out here who who go you go to work, you think you want to be in the entertainment industry. Yo, my work, my job is boring. No, do your boring job, which is not really boring. Go to work. <laughs> you, you're in the union, you know. You got medical, you got dental. You're actually living the best life. Guys, on the screen, 2430.shop. That's one of my sponsors. Go there if you need any type of... Um, Insurance information, that's a great platform. Tell them I sent you, okay? Mamu, got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Star, uh, do you think Angel Reese made a business decision uh, with the alleged baby? I don't know. Chubby, your star, that video of Diddy dressed like the Joker for Halloween makes sense now. The actor that backed down from Diddy probably knew his reputation. Wasn't that last year? Mamu says, I would like Diddy to do a collaboration with Kanye. I don't think that's going to happen. I remember Diddy wanting to talk to Ye and, and Ye, did, Troll Babies, didn't Ye said, fuck you, you fed? <laughs> <laughs> they hated missing nothing. Didn't Ye say to Diddy, oh, fuck out of here, you fed? Something like that. Yeah, 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 ain't fucking with Diddy. <laughs> Diddy said, I get off the plane soon. Let's meet, let's talk. <laughs> um, Mamu says, Star Taylor Swift maybe got 10 years before she has kids and gets thick like Kelly Clarkson. I don't think she's built like Kelly Clarkson, but uh, I hear you. L listen, I like her music. Never met her, but I mean, I, I, I know her type. You know, I think I have a good understanding of her type. I dated girls from Pennsylvania, New Jersey, of course, New Jersey, born and raised in New Jersey. The only thing that bothers me about Taylor Swift, and you guys can tell me, it, it, it's you know, the, the different color um, fingernail polish. You know, each fingernail has a different color. Anybody know what I'm talking about? It's like, yo, come on. That's the weirdo shit. Back when I was coming up, girls used to wear mood rings. I know that's going very far back. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Why does she wear different color fingernail polish? The hit or miss is nothing. Taylor Swift. Is it something to do with her moods? Uh, the weeks, the days? <laughs> the stars, the galaxy. What, what, is, what is her reason for that, for that nonsense? Who remembers mood rings back in the 70s? I had a girlfriend, I'm not going to say her name. She would say, Terrain, you see, when I'm with you, my, my mood ring goes black. You're a downer, but when I'm with my friends, it's pink <laughs> or, or red because I'm happy. <laughs> mood rings, hold on a second. I know that's going very far back. Janet's probably the only one who would know what I'm talking about, mood Yeah, they used to change colors. 
So why does Taylor Swift paint like each fingernail a different color? It's got to be some weird white girl shit like that. Um, hold on a second. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mo Fax, good to hear from you, sir. You are my last caller. Thank you for tapping in. Mo Fax. How you doing, Star? I'm great, man. Wednesday, we're talking about Diddy stepping down from Revolt. Um, his his uh, former security, uh, Roger Bonds, trying trying to clear his name. Uh, I, yeah, just uh, And Taylor Swift, what do you want to chime in, Mo? Well, you brought up, you brought up Ye. And, and Ye told Diddy a year ago, almost to the date, he was like, you don't want, you're saying, you don't scare me. Right. What, you're going to do something illegal to me? Right. And the whole DEFCON 3 thing started behind Diddy kind of trying to check Ye. Oh, was it? Talking about drop the, ad- yes, drop mm. the address. And he said, no, nah, I'm, he said, Ye's exact words were, I'm going to make an example out of you mm. to those blank people. Mm. Now I got to give you some little information. Cassie and Ye's relationship goes way back, all the way to 2007. Ooh. She was the lead. She was the lead girl in his stronger video, which is one of his biggest songs. Okay. How well? And he did several remixes for her as well. Okay. You, now there's another piece to this as well. Come on. The parent company to to Ciroc. They they don't want Diddy to be the face of Ciroc. Okay. You know, they've been fighting this the whole time. He's like, and that's how he makes his money by being doing the, ab- the advertising budget with them. Okay. 